Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1 slash and welcome back to part 12 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. Last time we had a Magrail road being constructed from Gansrig up to the northeast here, where we plan on putting a city down on this hill. And we have auto plants going on in Gongran and Huanle. And we also have three cities that are basically in line to begin producing military units. Um, we also have an additional worker squad over here in Gong Ren. Um, hopefully they'll begin to actually be able to move the city and get it out of the hellhole that it's been in for so long. So with the repair facility being done there, I'm thinking that two disciples seems like an apt way to go about this. Uh, I love me some disciples. They're great. They stack right next to each other excellently and they're just going to do tons and tons of damage. Um, so that's where we'll be spending most of our economy. I'm glad that the mass digesters are actually turning us a considerable profit. Oh. Okay, wow. Alright, so as you guys see, there's actually a KP colonist trying to settle in this region. So, um... What do we do about this? I think probably the smartest way to go about this is to go for our original spot. Uh, I really want to get that titanium. And deny what... I don't think they're going to settle on the titanium. And if they move it any other tile around here, they, they can't settle on the same turn. So if we block that tile, I hopefully we'll be able to settle next turn. And they won't settle this turn. Because if they settle on the titanium, they'll destroy it. I don't think AI thinks that way. Let's get the plus five production on military units from the repair facilities. That'll help that out a small bit. Um, bombard a little bit. And get these workers rolling. I'll be very disappointed if that colonist settles. Explorer up there. And this trader out is optimal. And I forgot to start my timer. Should always be doing that. Okay, 20, 3 minutes, let's that. Okay, come on, KP, don't settle. You won't, you're not that dumb, you won't settle on titanium, will you? Aha, they didn't do it. Sweet. Just like that, we land us a city, and the KP cannot settle within three tiles of us, so, yep, yeah, we're good. We are good. Okay, so we here's what the Hollow Suite gives us. We can get plus two culture from the Hollow Suites or a free virtue. I'm thinking a free virtue this late in the game is far better than whatever culture the Hollow Suites will give us. Don't even know why anyone would really choose that culture. Okay, so it's going to be very cool. So we pick up Martial Meditations now. That is going to gun us to nine. And then... That actually picks up its energy bonus. Now we get a free covert agent and one more free virtue. And now we can pick up integrated arms. Now the goal here is that we it'll make the disciples cheaper. And it'll get us just that much closer to picking up democratized quartering. Which is really going to help us out. We can pick up information warfare later. Um, right now I just want to gun it down that direction. And just like that. Oh, what happened here with our spies? We siphon enough energy, and we got the science. Wonderful, wonderful. Undetected, undetected. This could not really have been better. Let's pick up our free supremacy level. Biology is entropy. Why choose chaos when the path to eternity lies? And just like that, I believe we unlocked the, uh, the saber. An army of sabers would be so so cool. Um, and we get our educator upgrade. So, we can either get plus 30% when attacking wounded units, or plus 20% when next to a friendly unit. This is, again, the better one to go for if you plan on hitting cities. And, that's just, wow, that's so nice. We have a recruiter, a recruit, let's send him to Tiangong, counter those spies, and see if we can steal some more science. I honestly think it's just more consistently good. Again, we still can't manage that quest um, to get the extra... Spy, we need to have to, we'd have to steal science from a gun. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Let's just keep on stealing energy, pay for our army that will eventually accrue, and let's begin that magrail.
Okay, so we do have to clear the rest of this miasma out. I don't know if this colonist is going to move anywhere. Let's upgrade. Twenty minutes. Maybe. It is, but it's also like fun. We can have this conversation later. Mm -hmm. It's true. Alright, in 20 minutes. It is. It's fine. Living at college, you have roommates. And what comes with roommates is uh, interesting discussion sometimes. He wants to play Smash 4. And he will in 20 minutes. On a Sunday night. At midnight. When I have work to do. Well, continuing on with... Uh, our glorious empire here. We have this... What what number city is this? This is our seventh city? One, two, three, four, five, six. Our seventh city named... Tan. Wonderful. Alright, Tan will do us some justice, I'm sure. And just two more turns until those magrails are done. And 15 minutes left in this episode. Our disciples are just going to be way more cheap now after picking up those virtues. We do get bioengineering in just four turns. This guy just wants War with Elodie. Not gonna happen, friend. Some more trade convoys. What is the most efficient route? Feed the capital, most surely. And here, it's gonna be clear my asthma. Actually, you know what? I don't want that guy to heal. I just want him to get some vision on what's in the region. All right, a raptor bug. Okay. And a disciple just finished. Let's actually try to clear out the nest down here first. Secure our military position just in case Brasilia declares war on us. Alright, so... Let's get this expedition. Should be fine. And they want open borders. Not gonna happen. Yep. I don't do it. I don't do deals with y'alls. In just two turns, we're going to have a good amount of energy back available to us from unit maintenance. And by a good amount, I mean a considerable amount, considering we have so many workers we're paying for. Alien turns. Ooh, someone's engaging the aliens down here. Probably Australians? It is the Polystyrians. I wonder what they're doing down there. Well, they're dead now. Let's get, bring in another disciple to support. Do another quest. Establish network uh, in Le Cour. We can do that, sir. It's actually quite easy. Again, I'm all about getting as many spies as I can. Um, covert Ops. Let's cancel... Hmm, what do we want to cancel? I guess we can cancel... Eh, um, no. Fine. When this one's done, we'll send him to Lakor. One in Mandara. Alrighty. We got an auto plant in Gongren, finally. So let's go ahead and check the health here. Three to five people. I think we can build the network. Or we can go for the Pharma Lab. Or the Tharm Reactor. Um, you know what? I like science. We're doing network. Let's clear us the miasma here and bombard these guys. Alright, here we cleared the miasma. I just want to keep clearing this stuff. We do. And get the effect site mine done eventually. And this guy can go and help those guys actually 
improve Gongren. In just one turn, we're going to be getting our virtue up. Nope. No can do. Okay. Still Venga. down to pay you. Volvámonos más ricos. We have a lot more petroleum now, actually, after picking up those two wells. These tiles are really just turning out so many resources now. Five production, three energy, surplus. Just great tiles. Pretty much as good as they get. So they're engaging our disciples now. Best of luck to them. These are pretty elite units. They do have a disciple nearby. Give them the plus 8% bonus. And the bombardment is definitely going to take out this wolf beetle, mostly. Yep, there we go. Complete kill. And just like that, let's bring this guy back. Season him and heal him up. Alrighty. Three turns, two turns to plasma. Good. Get our virtue and pick us up some minus 50% from the maintenance. This brings us up to 26 energy per turn. That is how much unit maintenance costs. That is what workers cost. Wonderful. In just one turn, we're going to have access to the building the Xenomalam and the Bioglass Furnace. It's going to be wonderful. Alrighty. Got our Civil Crush down in Ganzerig, and we are finally growing once again there. And we can now do pretty much anything we want here. I think we're going to go ahead and get another repair facility. Probably militarize a little bit. We could build sabers very shortly. Um, but again, in one turn, we're going to have access to that production building. So what do we want here? Do we want food from Mass Suggestors or production? I'm thinking production. Um, no terrible downside to that. We have the growth in check, really. Um, and we finished our mag rail here. So, what do we want to do? This guy's got 50 health. Uh, let's just send him up here. Next turn into the forest there, and let's just build this mag rail. This mag rail is done, getting in to Ton is going to be a lot easier. Alright, more trades for petroleum. Venga, I am still three. down, sir. If it's a sin to play God, then why would he leave his There we go, we got bioengineering now. just like that. Alright, so I just want to check something. It's 21 points to level 10. And if we were to pick up robotics we would get exactly 21 so we could get to 10 if we wanted to um what that would do with us for us isn't very clear um it's really 12 which is the critical point which you get some cool stuff um hmm, i think we should probably pull this guy back um yeah let's pull him back here and you know we could just be, be building biowells on these things doesn't look like a horrible option. Uh, we have so much fruit available, though. I'm thinking we cut them down, maybe build some generators, make this a really powerful generator city, given how many tiles of just free food that we have. All right, so just cut these forests down. It's a good thing we have so many workers, and that our workers are as good as they are. Give me the energy, sir, or I demand it. All right, auto plant done in Huan Lei. And like that, we are set up to begin building things here. Um, what is the best option? What is the best course of action? Oops. Okay, so here it's very clearly the bioglass furnace, um, which is going to get our production up to speed. Send our disciple home, get this one in position. Could begin engaging these guys. I'm not opposed. We should be fine, even if the siege room attacks us and the... Uh, Drone attacks us, and we get hit by Miasma. This guy's not going down this turn. Definitely not. Um, and it looks like the best choice here could be the Bioglass Furnace, but it's probably not. Um, hmm. It's a considerable amount of production. It, it'll take 19 turns, but it'll really cut the times down on the rest of this stuff. That said, I like to get my yields earlier, so let's grab a network. I love the networks. It's three science, one per one culture so good so now I think it's time to go synergetics um, because in 14 turns we will be in position to build the organ printer and then from there we really don't need any more buildings for the rest of the game um, 
that said, do we want to pick up some other stuff? No, I think we're good here. Let's grab Synergetics. And one turn until the Cell Cradle's done, one turn until this Disciple's done. And we'll build Battlegloss Furnaces each of those places as well. Let's get him up here. Take the Miasma out. Finish this bio well. Only these tile improvements can be done a little faster. No, you see, you can't threaten me. You don't scare me. Could Brasilia settle there? Oh, they could and they did. Alrighty. Again, war with Brasilia is most certainly inevitable. And boom. There goes the attack on the Disciple. Time to pull out and get this one in. Alright, we'll heal this one up. Finished our Phyraxite Mine, which is good news. And we'll get this one working on a second bio well. This one can heal up, and I want to just keep removing some of this miasma. Alright, so our road to Tan by Magrail is completed now, and we can begin actually cutting down some of these forests and building some of these mines. Now, they might eat our... Hmm, what do I want to do here? The raptor bug might eat us. So I'm thinking... Might just want to move the overseer over. So, the Kavithans did decide to settle Prawn here. Um, I don't think they're going to take that many resources from us. They'll probably take this fruit. Um, oh well. I mean, if we ever go to war, they're just setting themselves up to lose that city horribly. Um, and we finally got our Civil Crush quest. So this is great. I love this. I mean, if we did this, it would just give us the craziest workers ever. But this is really just a lot of growth that we need. And I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And like that. We should be growing in all of our cities again. And it shouldn't even be too much of a challenge to maintain that level. Ooh, Kuyan's actually not compensating for all of its health. That's new. Tiangong is. And a disciple got finished here. Let's move him up. Actually down south. No, you know what? This way. And we will get to cutting down this forest. Let's make a way. We're going to be building generators here. This will be the generator city. The most glorious generator city. Oh, Reggie. Your land spans so wide, but your technology spans so low. I don't even know if that's the way that you phrase that. But I did. Okay. Um, removing my asthma. Done. Alrighty. Just build this petroleum well. Why not? Nothing against it at this point. And they tried to take this guy out. Not gonna work. They're just too strong for drones. And let's just walk on in and threaten another attack there. Okay, so now it's time to build another bioglass furnace. These things are way too good to not build right now. All we can. Okay, um... I'd love to build the Xenomalam as soon as we have a bioglass furnace done in whatever city we want to build it in. While we're busy, let's just cut this forest down, heal this guy up, the worker should remove that miasma. There we go. We'll eventually go to war. Um, I'm just looking for the right time, which the, really the, what the right time means for me is that we actually have a net positive health, and we have a lot of military units, and the energy is under control. All of these things are coming together right now. I'm sure we'll eventually have it all together, uh, but until then... Oh, that's right. One of the things I wanted to do was move my jets down and actually engage that siege worm. Um, this disciple's fully healed. Let's move him in. We could just take 
the nest, but I believe we would die. Um, so let's just heal up and sit tight. And here, let's just build the mine. This worker can cut down the forest. We eventually will have to. And our overseer here can blast away at that guy. You know, I think it's probably wise that we build... I can't believe I haven't done this yet, but we really should be building a trader out for Gongren to have. And keep that going somewhere to Tan, maybe, and then somewhere else. So, why have I put that off? I don't know. But now, it has been made apparent to me. So we shall build it. Genzerig can probably do that, yep. The Battleglass Furnace there isn't really the craziest priority ever, so... We'll do it as we, as we need it. Jinsoku Labs keeps on being a great trader on. Another worker here. Let's cut this down. I'm sure it's just uh, scaring the workers. There's a raptor bug so close. Yep. Siege Worm V Disciple. Booby. Disciple back and heal him up. And get our planes south. And next turn we'll be able to really bombard and probably take out that guy. Alright, so here what do we want to do? Yep, still looks like the best to me. Lots of nice juicy juicy production. Lots of nice juicy juicy science and energy. Uh, oh yeah, we really need to get our energy under wraps because when we go to war with Brasilia, which is, as we've said, inevitable. That's going to hurt our economy considerably. We have <clears throat> 22 of it coming from the international side of things. So we'd be negative 7 or 8 if we went to war right now. Uh, we want to get that completely under control. And it's probably going to take the Xenomalayan to do that. Ooh, that's a nice boost. Production right there. Just 80, I suppose. That's like a good 3 you know, three, four turns. Even at... No, it's actually just two turns. Not bad. Bone cutting. I hate how fast Kavithan cities grow. It's really kind of obnoxious. <sighs> oh, well. The mana cars bombard. Gonna take that nest out next this next turn. Ooh. We lost our explorer, that's alright. We weren't gonna use him for anything else. And uh we failed to siphon some energy. That is okay. We wanna send him to Lacour now. Uh, because that is where we're gonna get our free spy. And Okay, yep. Counterintelligence Tiangong, how is that going? Totally okay. So we want to actually reassign him and just tell him to return to HQ. And that is going to give us some health starting next turn. If you notice now, our total health from all sources is 66, which means 2% of that is... Well, 1% of that is 0.66, so 2% is 1.2 health. So we can basically just get free 1.2 global health um, her agent. And eventually, if you look at our covert ops, or not, we have four. Eventually, we'll have like six, seven, or eight. And once that gets up to two health per covert agent, that's a lot of health from covert agents. Sixteen, really. So, for example, right here, one covert agent from cell cradles. Yep, gimme. Didn't even, did, didn't even need to look at the alternative option. Just like that, we're at only one unhealth right now. Okay. Heal up this disciple. And these aliens just keep putting pressure on this overseer. Hopefully Tan comes up soon. Oh. Okay, they, need to, they need to manually bombard each single unit. Oh well. well. We can now bombard this guy. With our expert needle jets.
One of the few units that kind of makes sense how it could affect aircraft is the Siege Worm. And yet, they don't take down a single plane. They just kind of wave their hands around, hurt us a little bit. Okay then, alright, trade convoy. Off to Citadella. Give me that juicy science and energy. And this trader out is done and good to go to Gongrand. This one, let us build on this hill. And it looks like time is up, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and peace. See ya.